So um, I think social enterprise has an extraordinarily broad definition in my book. Um, but, and I think that it's better served by keeping it as broad as possible and um, not, um, not in any way trying to pretend that it's charity. It is, um, it's about building sustainable structures for the benefit of the community and for um, vulnerable individuals. I've always said that I have absolutely no dogma about where our services come from. What's important is that they reach the people who most need them. And what's absolutely great about social enterprise, the way it works, is that it does tend to concentrate in those places, in those areas, amongst those people with the great and greatest need, and um, which uh, is what it says on the tin. Um, it's also, I think, social enterprise organizations, so, so, social enterprise businesses tend to be more enlightened in their employment policies. If you have a look at the cross-section of people employed in social enterprise, there are more women hitting the top. There are more people of, of, of mixed race. There are more people of all forms of, um, of BME communities involved in, in um, in, in social enterprise than there are in business. But there are some challenges, and I think it's those challenges that I would like us all to face up to, is how do we get social enterprise better recognized by the funders, better recognized by the banks, better recognized as a sustainable way forward and worth lending money to? How do we get um, social enterprise uh, tendering, being, being accepted for tendering for services more because we've tended to have a very blinkered form of tendering in that uh, we move to bigger and bigger organizations, safer and safer organizations in inverted commas, more national tendering for local services. And I think the essential element of social enterprise is that it has a passion about its place and we should be making the most of that and we should be taking some risks in involving social enterprise in places that they've not been allowed to be involved in up to now. So I'm encouraging the breaking of rules. If I have one rule, it is let's see which rules can be broken that make life easier. Let's see which rules can be broken that make life better from, for the people we're trying to, to help and assist. And um, so let's be brave about that. I'm prepared to, I, I am not like Lord Lawson, I am pro-Europe. I think Europe has a lot to offer us. I say that because I'm also prepared to challenge them. And I think I'm prepared to, challenging, to challenge some of the tendering and the commissioning regulations that um, officers play safe with because they tend to hide behind the regulations in order sometimes to take the, what they see as the safer decision. I want to make quite sure that we break that cycle and we look at working in partnership with, um, with social enterprise to make quite sure that we are all in it together. And I think now I need to um, work with the, um, with the officers, the people who are inviting, um, inviting tenders to see how we can cut through it. I mean, I think that it's a matter of breaking down um, services into bite-sized chunks, not being too bureaucratic about it. Um, you know, for instance, we have, um, we have catering services that tend to be tendered right across great um, large um, swathes of council services. Well, to my mind, it would be much better if one could um, tender the catering service for M Shed separately to the catering tent service for um, some, some other uh, council facility and that one looks at giving some leg up to some of the smaller, more independent organizations such as it would be great to have something like Whole Baked Cafe um, providing, the, um, <coughs> providing the services in one of the building, uh, one of the Bristol cultural um, buildings. And um, so I think it's just, it's, a, it's changing the mindset 
away from being entirely safe about it and thinking about the bigger economy. The bigger economy is about making quite sure that we um, circulate um, our economy locally and that we do business to business and that impl Im implies um, business to social business and social business to, to, to local charity and local charity to social enterprise. I think and the, the more local um, commissioning we can get, the healthier the Bristol economy will be. I will, I'm doing all I can to see how we can cut through some of the tape that makes that difficult.